Flash memory cells are the fundamental building blocks of NAND and NOR flash memory, which are commonly used in USB drives, solid-state drives, SSDs, memory cards, and various other storage devices. These cells work based on the principles of semiconductor physics and use a combination of transistors and floating gate structures to store data. Here's a simplified explanation of how a flash memory cell works. 1. Basic Components A flash memory cell consists of three primary components, a control gate, a floating gate, and a source, drain region. These components are typically fabricated on a silicon substrate. 2. Insulating Layer between the control gate and the floating gate, there is a thin insulating layer, typically made of silicon dioxide, CO2. This insulating layer acts as a barrier that isolates the floating gate from the control gate. 3. Floating gate. The floating gate is a conductive layer that is electrically isolated from the rest of the transistor structure. It can store a charge, and the presence or absence of this charge represents binary data, 0 or 1. 4. Control gate. The control gate is another conductive layer located above the floating gate. It controls the flow of electrical charge to and from the floating gate. 5. Programming and erasing. To program a flash memory cell, a high voltage is applied to the control gate. This voltage causes electrons to tunnel through the insulating layer and become trapped in the floating gate. This trapped charge represents a binary one. Erasing a cell involves removing the trapped electrons typically by applying a voltage with the opposite polarity, which returns the cell to a binary zero state. 6. Reading. When data is read from a flash memory cell, a voltage is applied to the control gate. Depending on whether there are electrons trapped in the floating gate or not, the cell will exhibit a different level of conductivity. This difference is detected and interpreted as a zero or one. 7. Multiple cells in a flash memory chip. Flash memory devices contain millions or even billions of these flash memory cells, organized into pages, blocks, and sectors. These cells are grouped together to form the storage capacity of the chip. It's worth noting that NAND and NOR flash memory cells operate slightly differently in terms of their architecture and how data is read and written. NAND flash, for example, is known for its higher density and lower cost per bit but has a more complex data access structure compared to NOR flash which is often used for firmware storage and direct memory access. In summary, flash memory cells store data using the presence or absence of trapped electrons in a floating gate. The ability to program, erase, and read these cells enables the reliable storage and retrieval of digital information in various electronic devices. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.